All right. Well, uh, we are in the after show now for a members only segment. And I try to I'm trying to lead in with some topics that I think are one of my co-host strengths, you know, with Melanie, we talked about revelation and the actual potential that we may be looking at Armageddon on the planet, given her propensity for biblical thought. And with Sticks, I've always admired, you know, your ability to understand what's going on in like political polling and why, it, you know, I've come to learn over the over the years that in general, it's fine to look at it, but it's almost become a complete distraction. Like, was there ever a time when this stuff was actually accurate and useful? Yeah, there was back in like the 1990s of the 2000s. These days, right now, I, I made a video this morning. I was talking about how polling is basically just pure chaos right now. There is no order to it at all. Uh, there's push polling. There are competing polling firms. And sometimes you have a 12 or 13 point spread, actually, with some of the polling. So Trump will be up by six points in one national poll, and then he'll be down by six points in a different poll. It is wild to me when I see like, here's one poll that says they sampled in um, likely voters, you know, uh, Democrat candidate plus five, same, a different polling company the next hour releases one that says Trump plus one. Most people don't look at what is the boring stuff, and that's called the crosstabs. That's where the sausage is made. Um, the actual data, yeah. In, mo in your experience, most polls have some sort of inherent bias, yeah? Well, all of them do, not just some. <laughs> yeah, they all do. Even the ones that are accurate have some level of it. Another sneaky way that they'll work in bias is in, in the way they weight things, right? So they'll say, oh, the Democrats up four points. And then, you, and then you scroll way to the bottom of the article and you read who they polled and they polled four more Democrats than Republicans. So it's like, oh, duh, of course it's like, there's that <laughs> level. I've but seen that. So I've seen that more times than I want to count. Hey, if you enjoyed this sample, we do two to three videos a week like this over on the quartering.com slash members. I'm going to deliver two to three videos a week. Some will include stick. Some will include Melanie. Some will be just me. Some will be formal. Some will be informal. Plus we have a private members only discord and that discord allows you the ability to call in to live shows, post topics for standalone shows. I'm consolidating all of my places to support me to the quartering.com because it's just much, much easier for me to manage. Link in the description to join if you want to support our team, our live show and everything that we do, and you want access to the full length of these videos. I'm sorry if you're pissed off that this video was an ad for my website, but my goal this year is to do better for all the people that are choosing to support me. And the number one way I can do that is provide more additional premium content for them and more regularly. The best way I can do that is moving it all to one place. So the quartering.com slash members, I'll leave it linked in the description below. Hope you enjoyed either way.